What's going on everyone? My name is Josh19 and today I wanted to show you guys how to use your own alert fonts using custom CSS for T-Notifier. So basically this is going to kind of look like this. Um, as you can see I have my own font that I'm using. This is like a PlayStation 4 type font. Um, it's just one that I had on my computer so I kind of wanted to demonstrate that. So let me go ahead and bring up Photoshop. Um, this is again the font that I was using right here. Um, it's actually called uh, the rave is in your pants. I know it's a great name. <laughs> I didn't pick it. Um, but yeah, this basically, like I said, this is a PlayStation 4 font. This is something that I just downloaded from the internet to my computer and installed. Um, so I kind of want to show you guys how to get this from your computer onto T Notifier. So the first thing you're going to do is um, obviously, like I said, go into a, a text editing or something like Photoshop, uh, find out what the font is that you're using. So again, mine is called The Rave is in Your Pants. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my actual font on my computer and find it. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is go to Start and then Control Panel. And when you're in Control Panel, you're gonna go ahead and, and browse to the Fonts folder. Once you go ahead and go into the Fonts folder here, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find your font. So I think mine's towards the bottom. And here we go, The Rave is in Your Pants regular. Um, so basically what you're going to do is select this font, you're going to right click on it and hit copy. Uh, then you can go ahead and minimize it. The best thing to do is just paste it on your desktop just so it's easy to find when you upload it. So the next thing we need to do here is upload it online. There's not very many websites that you can actually upload files online. Um, for example, in, the, in this case I'm going to be using the Tumblr upload uh, a static file. So I'll include this, this, uh, this link in the description for you guys. Uh, in order to do this, you do have to have a Tumblr account. So if you don't have one, uh, just go ahead and make one. It's, it's really fast and easy to, to make one. But in order to actually use this uh, static file upload, you actually have to do that. Uh, I feel like this is one of the best uploading websites for uploading simple things like this. Um, you could, all, If you also have your own website or um, you know of any other static file websites, you can also use those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Choose File. And I'm going to go ahead and find my font here and hit open. And then click upload file. What that's going to do is, of course, it doesn't work the first time. Great. Uh, what, what that's going to do is it's going to provide me a link. So as you can see, it provided me a link here. Sometimes, you, I don't know, this static uploader is a little weird. So sometimes you have to do it twice. So if, it, if a link doesn't appear the first time, uh, go ahead and browse for the file again and hit upload again and see if it works. So uh, what we need right here is this actual, that's cool, I just... I just got a follower in the middle of my video. That's really weird and random, but okay. <laughs> um, so what you need is this link right here. Um, this link is what we're going to add into T Notifier. So once we go ahead and, and copy this link, so just right click on it uh, or select it, right click and copy. Uh, we're going to go into T Notifier. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, go to our widgets on the side here, and then we're going to edit our widget. If you had watched my last video, uh, this information up here, this custom CSS is for that graphic that you guys saw. Um, so, if you don't have, if you don't want to add a graphic, you don't have to worry. You can remove this this coding here. Uh, the actual coding that we're going to be dealing with today is this section right here, uh, from the at font face all the way down to the end bracket here. So this is the the current code that I have to make that work. Uh, again, I copied the link. Uh, this is off the first time I did it. If you Basically, you're going to paste your link that you got from uh, Tumblr right here within these parentheses. And then you're going to go ahead and name your font. You can name it this the this font whatever you want. Um, I, For example, I just named it PlayStation. But again, you can name it whatever you want. The important thing to do here is if you, whatever you name it, for example, like I said, PlayStation, you have to make sure you go back up here to the alert font and make sure the name is whatever you name it. So, for example, I guess we can go ahead and change this to like blah, blah. Then we may have to make sure that we change this over here to blah, blah. I don't know if it's case sensitive, but I would go ahead and just use the same cases just in case. Once you add this code in, uh, you're going to go ahead and hit edit widget. And of course, like I said, make sure you change this. Uh, hit edit widget, and that will go ahead and save your, your font here. So now if we go ahead and launch it, uh, if you, we hit send test notification, you'll see right here that it will, of course, have that font. Uh, again, you can go back and edit it and change the size and things like that uh, as well, but uh, that's totally up to you if you want to do that. So that's 
pretty much how you use a custom font. Uh, it's it's really simple again, guys. Um, so if you have any tort, sort of fonts that you want to use, uh, you can upload them there and use whatever font so you can customize your T notifier a little bit more to to your liking. Alrighty, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos in the future, then please subscribe and don't forget to keep on owning.